As we prepare our mind for to go forth into the service, Heavenly Father, let us receive what we have to receive, Heavenly Father. Hey, hey. 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 Let us not be afraid to speak the gospel, Heavenly Father. And let us be able to go out and reach the people on their level, Heavenly Father. Give us the wisdom, Heavenly Father, to reach the people on their levels, Heavenly Father. Oh, son of Jesus. Let us be able to go out and reach the Oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We shut every door. That is not of you, Heavenly Father. We shut every door and we seal it with the blood of Jesus. We seal it with the blood of Jesus. For it shall not be opened up again, Heavenly Father. And thank you. Ah, Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We thank you. Thank you for your angels. Ricky 
Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I come today as best as I know how. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for letting me be able to wake me up this morning to see this day. I thank you for my pastor. I thank you for the audience that I have. Okay. Uh, forgive me, I'm kind of nervous here. Okay. Uh, my book is, my expectation is on salt and light. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Okay. Ye are the salt of the earth, that if Salt has lost its service. There is no where there shall be it salt. It is in for good for nothing but to be cast out and be trumpeted under foot of men. So, what that, what that come to me is. If you're not doing right by God and you're not doing any good out there helping other people, so you might as well just keep on going your way and, and not trying to converse anyone, you know, to do wrong. And to me, uh, ye are the light of the world and the city. 
that is set on the hill cannot be hid. Yeah. Neither do men light the candle and put it under a bush, but on a candlestick and give it light unto all that are in the house. Okay, to me that's, you should uh, cast light on you, on yourself, so people can see the light. As you meet people, speak to people down the hall, and, you know, they see the light in you. Uh, and I have people, you know, as I walk down the hall, they speak, I speak to everybody. Uh, no matter color, creed, young, old, whatever, I speak. And I have people that ask me to stop and ask me, are you a preacher? Uh, I said, no, but one day I hope to be. So that means I'm casting my life if they ask me that. Hallelujah. You let them know? Yes. And uh, let your light so shine, therefore, before men. So that's what I'm trying to do. Let my light shine before yeah, men right. as, as I proceed my way to do what I'm doing. And they that see your good works and glorify your fathers which is in heaven. So that means I'm, I'm glorifying my Father. That's right. If, I'm, if my light is shining, I'm glorifying my Father. He know that I'm doing what right. He asked me to do. So, you got it. You got it, so that concludes my expectations. I didn't All make right. any notes of anything. But no, that's good. That's good. We got the Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise. Hallelujah to the Lord. For he is worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. Give him what he's doing. Hallelujah. Give him what you owe him. You were created to praise him. And he said, if you don't praise me, I'll cause the rocks to cry out in your place. Open up your mouth, begin to clap your hands, stomp your feet, and let us lift up the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the reason why you should be living, moving, and having your being. He is the one that took your feet off a sinking sand and placed your feet on solid ground. He's the one who parted the Red Sea and carried you safely across. He is your fortress. He is your shield. Hallelujah. Anything hidden home, he 
going hot headed pass out the tide envelope. I want to tell you something Malachi 3 10 through 12 says. Not only do it say bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there might be meat in my house says the Lord. Glory to God. Prove me. That's what he said. Prove me. Show me. He said test me. That's what prove me. Test me here and see that I won't open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. He said, not only that, but I'm going to rebu rebuke the devourer for your sakes. Not only will I bless you, but I'm going to rebuke the devourer. That means whatever was being destroyed by the locusts, the cankle worm, the palmer worm, will be no more. Hallelujah. And recompense will be your portion. Hallelujah. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vines cast her fruit before time. In the field, says the Lord of hosts. That means you're not going to come too early. And you won't be too late. But your harvest will be in harvest season. And it shall produce. Hallelujah. He said fruitful and multiplicity shall be your portion. Yeah. Glory to God. And yeah. all nations shall call you blessed. All of them. All of them. For ye shall be a delightsome land. Said the Lord of hosts. And that's just off of the tide. Hallelujah. Giving God 10% of what he gave you. That's what his promise was. And we stand on his word trusting. That way he watched over his word to perform it. So as the word was spoken today, so shall it be. Glory to God. Those of you that are watching by the way of Facebook. We want you to join in with us on the giving, hallelujah. You have two ways that you can sow your seed and your tithes today, glory to God. You can sow by the way of PayPal at Vanessa Jackson 310 at gmail.com. You can also pay by the way of Cash App at Dollar Sign Vanessa Jackson. Sow your best seed today. Stand on that word. Prove him just like he said. And see that you don't have a testimony that eyes haven't seen, ears have not heard, and neither have it entered into the hearts of men. Because that's the kind of God that we serve. He said, if you, being filled with evil and sin, will bless your children and give them good things, then how much more shall I do the Father? Glory to God. Y'all ain't right here today. Come on, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Yeah. Every Sunday and Monday, hallelujah. 6 a.m. to noon, we have our corporate fast. We pray for one hour at 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. Afternoon, we eat a healthy meal, no fried foods, and we seek God on what to study for the day. Glory to God. Yeah. And let the Holy Spirit lead us. And as we come to a close on Mondays at 7 p.m., we have a corporate fast conference call where we all get together on the line and we begin to pray and yeah. lift up the name of God. Hallelujah, because he deserves it. That conference line number is 712-770-4680. Glory to God. The access code is 654 794 every Monday at 7 p.m. We want you to join in on the call. Do not miss what God is doing in Raw High. It's not just for us. If you happen to be watching and you're not a member of Raw High, but you want to tune in, we invite you to tune in as well. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God don't have a respect of person. Hallelujah. The weather forecast is every Wednesday, by the way, of Facebook Live at 5 a.m. And our Millionaire Club is every Wednesday night at 7.15. And I'm here to tell you, if you haven't showed up to the virtual boardroom, you better show up to the virtual boardroom dressed in your finest attire. Hallelujah. You better come and get what God is saying in this season. He said that you should be lenders and not borrowers, but you got to grow in him in order to get Hallelujah, the strategy to be a lender and not a borrower. You better come and join into the virtual boardroom. I said every Wednesday at 715, the Millionaire's Club is on Facebook Live. Yeah, Glory yeah, to yeah, God. Yeah. Yeah. Every first and third Sunday at 3 p.m., we have our Rima Word broadcast by the way of radio. You can also catch it on Facebook Live. We invite everyone to call in. Hallelujah to the radio station during the live broadcast. You can call in at 346-314-4119. Hallelujah. Or 
7949. And this is not just for you. But tell your friends and your family members, even tell your enemies, hallelujah, to call in. We are taking prayer requests and testimonies. Hallelujah. You never know what God going to do. Be the vessel that he called you to be. Hallelujah. We have a lot, a lot of things going forward, so I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can. We're starting with next Sunday. Glory to God. Somebody say next Sunday. Next Sunday. Next Sunday is our youth Sunday. Hallelujah. That's where the youth of Raw High will be coming up here. They're going to take over and they're going to let the Lord use them in the way that he can. Hallelujah. And the way that he do. Hallelujah. We are believing that this youth service is going to be greater than last youth service we had. And we are uh, we are asking everybody to bring somebody. Everybody bring somebody, especially the youth, because this service is dedicated to the youth. Glory to, Glory to God. Every first Monday of the month for July is going to be July the 1st. Glory to God. We have our Monday Night Miracle and Prophetic Movement in our, in our Houston campus. Glory to God. It's at 7 p.m. Monday Night Miracle and Prophetic Movement in the month of July is going to be on July the 1st. The location is 500 North Sam Houston Parkway East. It is in Houston, Texas. Hallelujah, 77060. If you're in the area, you visit in the area, you're going on vacation in the area, you got a little business to handle in the area, we encourage you to stay. Hallelujah, and join us in the service. Glory to God. All right, also on July the 1st, our very own prophetess Sonia is going to be going on her very first mission trip for the year. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She's going to Belize July the 1st through the 8th. She's going to be representing Apostle Jackson and Raha Ministries. And we are definitely supporting her with our prayers and our donations. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are collecting toiletries to give to the people of Belize. Full size toiletries for adults and children. Hallelujah. Some of the items that you can buy, and it can be from the dollar store. It doesn't have to be nothing grand. Hallelujah. Because they will, hallelujah, appreciate anything that you do for them. So some of the items that we can get is soap. It can be bar or liquid, shampoo, conditioning, feminine pads, razors, toothpaste, toothbrush, floss, mouthwash, body spray, shaving cream, lip gloss, Q-tips, baby wipes, body lotions, or anything that if you was in need, you would want somebody to give to you. Glory to God. Let us do that. The date to give, get those items in have been extended to June the 30th. Amen. Amen. So we have one more Sunday, next Sunday. When you come, make sure you bring an item to deposit. Hallelujah. And keep her in your prayers. Because the, the Bible says that the effectual favorite prayer of the righteous man availeth much. So we want the Lord's spirit to go before her. We want him to guide her and show her whom she is assigned to in Belize. Glory to God. Hallelujah. July the 10th through the 12th, hallelujah, Apostle is going to be on Kingdom Assignment in Fayetteville, North Carolina, All Guys Women Rock Conference, hallelujah. The service starts nightly at 7 p.m., and the address is 6974 Rayford Road, it's in Fayetteville, North Carolina, 28390. That is three nights, guys, the 10th through the 12th. If you are in the area, you live in the area, you visiting your own vacation, or God touch your spirit to go and be in fellowship, we welcome you to come into the service. We are celebrating all God's women rock conference. Glory to God. July the 18th, hallelujah, is when our next apostolic class will start. And everybody that is a student of that class, I want you to send up a shout out to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, if you are a student of that class, lift it up now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you called to the apostolic and do you want to learn more about it? Hallelujah. Somebody might be saying, I don't even know what that is. Okay, but this class is still for you. You're going to join Apostle Vanessa Jackson every Thursday night for Behind the Scenes of the Apostolic Grace. Come and experience in-depth teaching of the calling of the apostolic, how to walk in your calling, and much more. The course is a six-week course, glory to God. It's going to start July the 18th through August the 22nd. It's going to be every Thursday night at 7 p.m., hallelujah, Central Time. 
registration is now open. And I tell you that the seats will fill up. So if you want to be a part of this class, if you want God to strengthen your foundation in Him, correct the things that may be wrong with the foundation that you already have, and take you higher, you better roll in this class. I mean, you better enroll in it today. Glory to God. Because the class was good, and it's going to be even better. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we're, so the registration is open until July the 17th until, or until all the seats are filled. And we know that the seats will fill before July the 17th. Glory to God. So Harry and sign up because we don't want you to miss what God is doing behind the scenes. Glory to God. July the 21st, which is our third Sunday, is our dress down Sunday and field trip for the Raw High Children's Ministry. If you guys are coming and you're part of the ministry, make sure you get your kids involved in the children's ministry. They go out and they're experiencing new things and God is blessing them. And we don't want any of our children, any of our babies to be left behind. Glory to God. July the 26th, Apostle is also going to be on Kingdom Assignment in Florence, South Carolina at the Truth Family Fellowship Pastor Anniversary Celebration. The address is 1110 East Palmetto Street, that's P-A-L-M-E-T-T-O Street in Florence, South Carolina, 29506. The service starts at 7 p.m. and you are welcome and invited to be a guest. Glory to God. July the 27th, Apostle's going to be on Kingdom Assignment in Darlington, South Carolina at Life Cathedral International Ministries Pastors Anniversary where the thing is, he is a promise keeper. Glory to God. The service starts at 3 p.m. and the address is 1496C, as in Charlie, Harry Bird, B-Y-R-D Highway in Darlington, South Carolina, 29532. That's July the 27th at 3 p.m. Also on the 27th, glory to God, we've been announcing, we've been broadcasting, mark your calendars, hallelujah, for our Raw High Urban Back to School event. And I am happy and ecstatic to announce, hallelujah, that I have all the details for you all. Now listen up, glory to God. <laughs> It's going to be located at 3015 West Interstate 20 in Grand Prairie, Texas, 75052. The time is going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is going to be on July the 27th, which is a Saturday. Glory to God. Let me tell you what this year event is going to entail. It's going to entail backpacks that are filled with school supplies being given away. Hallelujah. It's going to entail health and wellness. Hallelujah. It's going to entail free haircuts. Glory to God. It's going to entail blood pressure checks. Hallelujah. It's going to entail mental and nutritional health. Glory to God. It's going to entail credit repair. Hallelujah. It's going to entail food. Hallelujah. How about a bounce house? Glory to God. And face painting. Glory
7019. Glory to God. This is a surprise appreciation. Apostle knows a little bit about it, but she don't know the depth of it. So we ask that you don't contact her regarding the event, but you contact the local coordinator. Hallelujah. And that's it. Glory to God. These are our announcements. Let us govern ourselves accordingly. Oh God, let us live, stand on our feet as the apostle of this house enters. Hallelujah. Your blessing just walked in the house. God's anointed blessing just walked in the house. He sent a word for you today and it came through the woman of God. Y'all can do better than that. Hallelujah. Don't let God take it back. Hallelujah. Glory to God. tithes and offering. Hallelujah. If, are you guys ready to sow your seed? We're going to sow our seed on the word today. Hallelujah. We're standing on the word today. Glory to God. Just tithe. Just tithe. Okay. All right. We're going to do our tithes and our seed. Our tithes and our seed. So if everybody would... Go ahead and give out another envelope. Anybody who wants to sow a seed today in the word. You don't know what God is going to say. You're going to sow your seed in faith today. Glory to God. Raise your hand and get you a seed envelope. A seed envelope. Glory to God. We're going to sow our seed on the our seed on the word today. And I'm going to challenge everybody to sow a seed of at least $40. If you cannot sow a seed of $40, I want you to sow your best seed today. You have to learn how to trust God. I'm going to tell y'all this. When I started sowing for real, I was sowing on unemployment. Glory to God. When God corrected me about sowing my tithes, because I used to sow my tithes, but I didn't sow it off the full amount. I sowed it off what was left out of taxes. And God corrected me on unemployment. Hallelujah. I didn't have no job. I had to stand on the word of God. And then look, $200, $300, whatever check it was, I had to realize that that was not my income. It was a seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the way you got to look at your paycheck. Hallelujah. Your paycheck is not your paycheck. Your paycheck is seed money. Hallelujah. It's investment money into the kingdom of God. When you sow and you stand on his word, you see what God will do for you. And I am a living, walking testimony. Glory to God. I share it with y'all while y'all prepare. Hallelujah. I was going through a transition. I had just had my first son. And I had got down to my last hundred dollars. Glory to God. I had a light bill come. And I ain't had the money to pay for it. But this is one of the coldest winters we had right here in Dallas. And the light bill was $274. And the person who was supposed to help me with it, they would not help me. They lied to me and told me uh, they were going to help me, but they didn't help me. The light bill came. Y'all remember those pink eviction notices, glory to God. And I had $100. And I didn't have no job. And I didn't want to go to my parents. I said, okay, God. And guess what he did? He called somebody to tell me, you know, if you go down to this place, they pay light bills, but I don't know if they'll be able to because normally the money be gone by the first of the month. So they gave me the number and I called the number. And the lady said, ma'am, I got an appointment for you. I said, okay. And I went down. I didn't know because I never asked nobody for no help before. I was too proud. Hallelujah. I went down and she said, ma'am, you got the last appointment. She said, normally by this time, hallelujah, we already be done paying all our money, spending all our money. She said, but you got the last one this time. And so I gave her the bill. You know, you have to go through and tell them all about your situation and circumstances. I gave her the bill. She said, ma'am, I don't know if we're going to be able to pay, but we're going to see. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell y'all that they paid that bill. Then God had the phone ring. Hallelujah. And he gave me a job. It wasn't much. Paying $10 an hour at the alcohol and drug rehabilitation center in Hutchins, Texas. But it was $10 an hour and I didn't have nothing but $100. Hallelujah. So I took that job working all night. I didn't want to leave my kids at home, but I had to. Hallelujah. And I went on. And you never know who God is going to stick you in somewhere to testify and help bring somebody out. And I tell y'all what, I, that hundred dollars took me two weeks so I got my first check. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to keep on talking. I worked there for about a year. Glory to God. And then one of my friends said, can you take me to this um, 
a career fair that was having a career fair. I was tired. I had just got off work. I'm working overnight, 10 to 6. I'm like, you know what? I'll take it, but I'm sitting in the car. Hallelujah. I took him. He said, you need to get out and go in. I said, I'm, you know, I'm tired. But I got out and went in. And I put in me a couple of applications. I know and I'm here right. to tell you about three to four months later, God gave me two job offers. Hallelujah. He gave me the job that I'm working at now. It was, it was starting out at 12.52 an hour. And then he got me an offer at the comptroller's office that was paying 15 something an hour. And then I began to pray. I said, God, which one do I take? And he already said, I'll lay it out before you and you choose. But I said, uh uh, I need to know which one to take. Hallelujah. And so God began to show me, and he began to give me more insight whether 1252 was real or low. And you know, most people would take the $15 an hour. But God said, but on this job, I'm going to give you a dollar increase guaranteed every year for the next five years. And see, the way math add up. After five years, that's seventeen dollars. Hallelujah! That be five dollars. So I was willing to endure, and I tell you, that was twelve years ago. Hallelujah! And he has multiplied me every year. Hallelujah! Multiplication that don't make sense, but I tell you, I'm a man. I'm a man. Hallelujah! So when I say you better sow your seed, I don't care if you ain't got no five dollars and you got a light bill too. I had a light bill due too, and I sowed my seed.
finances. situation, every uh, storm that has come to try to hurt the people of God, it will begin to cease today. We thank you, Lord God, for how you've already been moving in our life. We thank you, Lord God, but in you we live, we move, and we have our being. We pray, Lord God, that the storms will begin to pass over. Father, I thank you for visitation on this morning. I thank you for what you've done already. I pray for every family. I pray for their finances. I, I pray, Lord, to God, for the works of their hands. I pray for their mind to be sound in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you to release your angels now to encamp around about this place. Your angels, oh God, to be around us, to be moved for, in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that it is so, and it cannot and will not be reversed in no other way. Clap your hands and say yes. Clap your hands and say amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How come everybody? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're excited. Well, let me talk about me. I'm okay. excited. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. When you know the will of God, when God has revealed things unto you and which way you are going, you get so excited. You don't look at what is going on in front of you. You begin to look at what God has showed you. 
Some of y'all in here is defining what you have been going through as, as if it would not change. But I came by the way of Irvin to tell you that this thing has changed. When I hit around Cooper, it started raining. It was raining from Cooper, or a little bit before Cooper until we got past Cooper. It was sprinkling, but other places it was not. I had a visitation this morning. Y'all not saying nothing. Glory to God. That's why you gotta praise God. That's why you gotta give God the glory. That's why you gotta learn how to tell the Lord thank you. You got the Lord said, I'm getting ready to do something. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor what you see right now. It will not be within 24 hours. I'm telling you right now. Within 24 hours, you gonna see the hand of God. You gonna see God is getting ready to give you peace that you pass all understanding. God is getting ready to cause. Go over there, got the war and angels of war on your behalf. Because there's something in your past that's tried to come back. And y'all know she's not going to get away this time. But the Lord told me to tell you all you got to do is praise God. Because you said that down once before. The Bible said, David. That God walked up to the light and said, You come, glory to God, with all what you got. Come in the name of the Lord. And the Bible says, He took down the light in the name of the Lord. You take that giant down in the name of the Lord. into a dream. When I went into this dream, there was this little boy. This little boy was looking at me and began to say to me, he said, the rock, the water gushed out. He said it twice to me. I said, mm, that's the word of the Lord. That's the word of the Lord. So this little boy, glory to God, came from heaven and pronounced our season. Glory to God. Y'all not saying nothing. I said, God sent a little boy. Glory to God to pronounce our new season. He said, the rock is about to gush out the waters. Y'all not saying nothing. So when I got back close to Cooper, the water began to fall down. Y'all not saying nothing. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, get ready for the water. The water get ready to push your way. Look at y'all. Look at me. But I heard miraculous move that is about to happen for somebody. It may not be for all y'all, but it's for somebody. You gotta open up your mouth and say, it may not be for them, but it is for me. Glory to God. I didn't say drip drop or do you. I said a gush, a gush of our she called my see I got. I gotta act right about a lot of time. Glory to God. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Yes, Lord. Tell your neighbor. They're not going to get this. Some may get this. Some may not. Tell your neighbor my address just changed. You're going to go to y'all and praise God. Because y'all in the car. But you got to stop praising God. Because my address just changed. What I was going through, I'm coming out. What I was down, I'm up. What I was feeling, I was sick. I'm healed. Y'all not saying, 
I tell you, it's like I feel it. But God can't really give you a gift of the Lord. Go over the God and your address. It's about to change. And when the enemy come back, he's coming to the old address. Look at Charles and get at me. Tell your neighbor, I feel the cushion of the wind first. And when I feel the wind blowing, it's blowing in the water. And my address has just changed. Tell your neighbor. I don't know what you've been facing. I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what the devil been trying to do. But tell your neighbor, I just got a new address. Glory to God. In the realm of the spirit, it was already there. But I had to wait to the point in time for God to release it in the earth. Tell your neighbor, my address. You gotta understand, huh? that's for the people that walk in the divine, huh? glory to God, huh? authentic, huh? glory to God, huh? revelation of God. Huh? If you don't get revelation, huh? then you're going to get stuck. Huh? But tell your neighbor, huh? I got a revelation, huh? because when God speaks a thing, huh? I'm not jumping and shouting like everybody. Huh? I'm jumping because he just revealed to me huh? what I was facing, huh? it has already been over, huh? and the devil knew it. Huh? Glory to but now I'm going to go back and get everything that the devil touched. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, you better get ready. I said, you better get ready. But there's a new pipe that's on 
the market. Glory to God. I shall do a new thing and it shall spring forth. Tell your neighbor, I don't want the old pipe. Glory to God. It already worked for this season. And that's why it didn't help me in this season. Glory to God. But I don't want the same old pipe. I want the new pipe. Tell your neighbor. I just see in the Holy Ghost that I Before your children, or your family, or your co-workers, or in your grandkids, or y'all understanding this. So you're going to have to try this thing out. Tell your neighbor, I don't mind being the tester. Glory to God. Because I'm getting ready to test this like never before. My God, the plumber begins to fix it. And then the plumber begins to say, have you found anything else that we may help you with? Tell your neighbor, don't hold back. Over here, and I see the drop over there. Come on, here they ain't saying nothing. My God, whatever the enemy, hang it, girl. How do I sign? I love y'all. I don't know when y'all had little drips and drop it in your life, but the plumber is here now. You ain't supposed to be going through nothing. You're supposed to be going to rest. Are you hearing me? Having peace with God. Are you hearing me? Even if they try to say, oh, I'm sorry. Y'all not saying that. The Lord told me to tell you the next three months of y'all life, if the devil try to do something, you better bring him to the carpet. Look at y'all. Because I'm putting y'all in rest. Come on here. Don't nobody want to say nothing to me. But when God put you in, if you don't have to fight about it, you don't have to do a fast or the soul for it. Glory to God, it's just going to automatically come. Or is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? The Bible says, here it is with a bomb. Wanted to put the children of Israel in the rest. They would not believe the word that was being preached. And for that reason, they couldn't come into rest. But don't be no fool like them. I just spoke to your spirit and told your spirit to come into rest. Come into peace. Come into alignment. And everything that you're supposed to have, you
Sando. What do I say? You go to that place. I know it. You talk to him and talk to him. And you say, we're well, I know it. Yeah. God made a room for us. And things not right with your family. Yes. Children. Yes. Gather them and say, we're hoping. Yes. God. Yes. Baby, we're hoping. Yes. For us. Yes. You grab your wallet. I know it. You better come on here. And you say, we're hoping. God. Made a move. For us. But you, yes, say, no, but you shall be fruitful. Yes. In the land, yeah. which means whatever was not coming, what whatever what was else? tripping and happening, yeah. because you prophesied, Rehoboth, God. God, understand what you just said, yeah. you're calling the spirit of Rehoboth, yeah. Rehoboth, God. God has made room, I promise you, I won't try to go find three people and okay. test this okay. out in the river of the spirit. Okay. 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 Test it. Go find three people. Yeah. And when you get to them, we're hoping God made room for you. We're hoping. Say God it to made, them. God made room for you. Come on. Come on. We're hoping. We're hoping. God made room. Try to squeeze it out. Try to make sure that you can't live with the right mind, the right spirit. But my power is right. And because I didn't give up from the last two, God said you came to the place of Rehoboth. And Rehoboth knows that it got to make room for him. Glory to God. It don't matter who got to go, but I ain't got to go. Glory to God, you ain't going nowhere. The spirit of the living God. Do you 
Come on, come on up out of there. Come on up out of there. No, give me worship. No, no, give me instrumental worship. Give me instrumental Be still what I gave you before. Be still instrumental worship. Yes, ma'am. God, I'm going to see God my high.
Come on, lift your hands, everybody. Yes, 
If you need prayer, the altar is open. It's your opportunity. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your opportunity is here. It's just the presence of God. Hallelujah. The altar is open. Hallelujah. Come unto God. And renew your, your relationship with Him. And let Him place His Spirit in you and on you. Hallelujah. To take you to the next level in Him. To cause you to line back up with destiny and purpose. For the very reason that you were created. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If there's anybody else in here. If you're watching by the way of Facebook. And you say that I wish I had an experience like that. I want you to know that God can come right where you are. Hallelujah. We're sending the spirit of God to the atmosphere. Hallelujah. That you're standing in. That you're sitting in. That you lay in, and you feel like our hope is lost, but God is the hope. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except they can come through me. So we say that God is available to you now. You say, I don't know how, hallelujah, to receive Jesus as my personal Savior. You got to believe in your heart that he died on the cross from your sins. You repent and confess your sins. And you tell God to enter and come into your heart. And he will do it. Hallelujah. He will have a relationship with you. Everything around you will begin to become anew. He'll renew your mind and your heart. He'll begin to close doors and open doors. He'll begin to remove wickedness out of your presence. Hallelujah. He'll begin to shape you. He'll pull you out of sinking sand and place your feet on solid ground. He'll cover you and hide you. You get to abide in the shadows of the Almighty. And how many of us know that in the shadows of the Almighty, the enemy can't come. Hallelujah. He said, I'll cover you with my feathers. Hallelujah. In his tenderness, he said, I'll call you away with me. Hallelujah. He'll begin to cause you to walk in peace. Hallelujah. He'll restore your soul and everything that the enemy meant for evil in your life. He will make it good. He said, I am the author and the finisher of your faith. And all things work together for the good of him. I know it might not look good right now, but on the other side, hallelujah, there will be glory. This is a perfect opportunity. This is a perfect opportunity. Hallelujah. If you need something from God, Hallelujah, this is the perfect opportunity to get it. If you don't know him, this is the perfect opportunity to know him. Hallelujah. And, and if you're not sure, ask God to confirm it. In his word, he said he will confirm everything that he spoke. You won't just hear it one time, but he confirms it three times. Hallelujah. So expect confirmation to come. Hallelujah. It's not us. You don't see us. You see God. Hallelujah. It ain't us. It's not us. We're filthy rags. Hallelujah. We're just yielding our vessels to be servants and temples of God. He just have his spirit to flow through us, but it's not us. Hallelujah. It's God, and it's for his glory, for his name's sake. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, if there's no more, let us all stand on our feet. You don't have to stand on your feet if you can. If you're still with God, stay with God. Don't get up until he tells you, until to, to he releases you. Hallelujah. Get instructions. Everybody, if you would, before we release, we're going to allow prophets like to come and share. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. As I was sitting in the back, the Lord showed me there's a shield that's on our door. And he showed me the angels were on each side of this cave. And he told me every spirit was, he showed me every spirit was chained up. And the two angels was causing the spirit to go back into the cave and go back to hell from which it came. He just showed me that and the angels were gold angels. And they were standing with their shield and the spirits were going back to hell. That's what he just showed me. Thank God for the things that he's done Even if we don't have full understanding of what the prophet just spoke 
he said that he would do nothing without a first revealing it to his prophets. So let us thank God for what the prophet, hallelujah, has just spoken to the atmosphere and received it in your hearts. Hallelujah. Let us bow our head and go before the Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Okay. We're going to let you guys leave on your own as the Holy Spirit release you. If you haven't released you, don't you move. Hallelujah. And when the Holy Spirit release you, then you may go. Go with God. speaking to our kids today. How many of you know that the same God that you worship, the God, same God that you have a relationship with, you ought to want your kids to have a relationship with. And they need to know God for themselves. He just entrusted them in our care to a certain point. But he is all of our Father. Hallelujah. He's all of our Savior. He's all of our God. And he's all of our Lord. So they are kids unto you because he entrusted them in your care. But he is the ultimate father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So just as you have a relationship with your father, or if you didn't have a relationship with your father, God said, I am a father to the fatherless. Hallelujah. I'm a mother to the motherless. And those of us who might have had bad experience in that area, God said, I'll show you the true love. Hallelujah. Ungot they love. Glory to God. So, if you would please, while the ministering is still going on to the kids, we want you guys to continue to stay in prayer for our children. You don't know that the enemy don't wait till you get grown. Hallelujah. They start trying to come at your kids, even in your womb. Hallelujah. But we know that God is purposing them and planning them to be here. He spoke it. He released the word. And they appear destiny and purpose. Hallelujah. They have. And we want our kids to stay on the path and the course that God has called them on. We want God to break off the generational curses off of their life. Anything that we did not overcome, we don't want it to be passed on to our children. We want the book to stop here. Hallelujah. We don't want God to have false doors open before them. We want him to shut every false door and only open the doors that lead to prosperity. We want him to open a door that leads to multiple doors in their life. We want him to reveal to them, even as they are children, what he bore them for. We want them to put, we want God to perfect their crafts. Hallelujah. We want God to stir up the gifts in them. We want the Holy Spirit to pour out of them. We want God to use them as salt in the earth and the football teams and the mad teams and wherever they are. We want God to use their voices as vessels, as mouthpieces to speak to the youth. We want God to anoint their hands that they can even lay hands on the sick and the sick recover. Hallelujah. They can call, can cast out devils and demons in his name. There was no age restriction. Hallelujah. It's just when you're ready, when God has prepared you, you can do it. So you don't think you have to be old. You don't have to be old. You just have to walk in the humility. Hallelujah of God. You just have to walk in the reverence of God. You just have to walk in the obedience of God with his spirit and be able to hear his voice. So when he say touch something, touch something. When he say pray, you pray. If he say don't touch it, don't touch it. If he say go left, you go left. If he he say, stay the course, stay the course. Hallelujah. That is our desire for our kids. And we know that we're going to train up a child in the way they should go. We're introducing them to God. We're telling them they need a relationship with God. We're teaching them to study God's word and to pray. We're teaching them to be watchful. Hallelujah. We're teaching them that everything of the world is not for them. But they may be in the world, but they are not of the world. That they already have victory over the sins of the world. That they are not covered by law of the world, but they are covered under grace. Hallelujah. And those some 
some may sin and fall short of the glory of God, but sin is not our practice. Hallelujah. We know that God gives us grace and he gives us mercy. He crowned every day. Hallelujah. Because this day wasn't promised. Hallelujah. But we see it. We're here. This day is a new. We got to learn how to stop treating each day like it is the same day as yesterday. This is not Groundhog's Day. And you got to look to the hills from which coming to help. But you know that your help come from above. You know that Jesus is your rock. Hallelujah. If you need help, call his name. Hallelujah. For no other name do you know greater. And you got to begin to know him in all of the different areas. If you need a healer, you need to learn him as healer. Hallelujah. If you need salvation, you got to learn him as your savior. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you stand in need of, he is. Hallelujah. When the children of Israel inquired, who is he? He said, I am that I am. Hallelujah. Moses said, well, who do I say sent me? He said, tell him I am sent you. Glory to God. And why didn't he put anything behind him? Because he's everything that you can put in the blank. He's everything that you can fill in the blank. And we thank you, Lord, for being our everything. And we recognize that we need you more than we need air. And we need you more than we need water. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for the transitions that is going forth on today, God. We thank you, Lord, for shaping us and shifting us and changing our addresses. Hallelujah. Not only in the natural, but also in the spiritual realms. That when the enemy try to come back and look for you. Hallelujah. When he go to get his seven friends and try to come back, first of all, we want God to put a sign on it that says, occupied and filled with the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. And then when he try to come back to the same address. Oh God, you ain't gonna live there no more because he said today that your address has changed. So he gonna have to go and occupy somebody else because you've been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit and you're going to walk in it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And whatever God do for you, he said, when well, you have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and your testimony, you ought to go and help somebody else. Hallelujah. We're not going to be selfish. Whatever God help us with, our testimony is for the people. Hallelujah. So that they may know God the way we know God. That he may get the glory every time we open up our mouth. What did the Lord do for you today? Glory to God. I want you to go and tell somebody. Hallelujah. Every time you release your testimony, into the atmosphere. Hallelujah. A blessing comes because you've been obedient to the Lord. Begin to release your testimony. Hallelujah. Even kids, even kids, release your testimony. Hallelujah. And if you're not praying with your children, if y'all not bringing the family together, together to prayer, don't leave your children out of the prayer. You got to let your children pray. Teach them how to pray. Because there may be a day you may not be with them. No man know the day nor the hour that the son of man coming. So prepare your children now for the future. You may be with them till they old and gray. And then again, God may have said, assignment complete. Hallelujah. But we want our children to be strong in the Lord. We want our children to have relationships relationship with him. We want our children to know him even greater than what we know him. And we want our children to be walking in the divinity hallelujah of the assignment that is placed on their life. We don't want our children to be lost going to and fro. Hallelujah. We want them to be steadfast and immovable. We want to be planted like a tree hallelujah by the rivers hallelujah that their roots run deep in the spirit of God. Glory to God. And we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done here today. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, because we didn't expect you to do it. But you did it, oh God, for your name's sake, for your glory, that the people may know. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord, for giving instruction on today. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for introducing Rehoboth. Hallelujah. To the people who don't know Rehoboth. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, for reminding us of Rehoboth. Hallelujah. That God has made room for us. And after they kept going and searching for water, hallelujah, and it kept coming up, but people was claiming it and taking it, they were stealing the, the what God had already said he was going to bless them with. Hallelujah. And they kept coming and stealing. Every time they would dig for water and hit water, they said, that's my man. He said, okay, let's keep digging. And they finally got to a point, hallelujah, where they couldn't come and claim the water. Hallelujah. Because it was God's water. Hallelujah. And he said, I named this place Rehoboth. God has 
make room for us. Hallelujah. And it's not about coincidence that whatever is going in on in your life, and we know that the enemy try to trick us. He try to play with our mind. He try to make us think otherwise. But you don't know what God is doing. And if you don't know, stand still and see the salvation of the, God, the Lord. If you don't know, inquire of the Lord, what are you doing in this hour? And be patient enough to wait for him to respond. Sometimes he responds instantly and quickly. And sometimes he tests you to see if your faith is there. That if you can be like Abram and you can follow him even though you don't know where you're going. He told Abram to leave your family, your kindred, your home and go to the place that I will show you. He never told him what that place was and where it was. He just told him to go and Abram followed. Glory to God. And he made him a father of nations. And he blessed him. And everything that Abram touched turned to gold. It, 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 it was under fruit, fruitfulness and multiplicity. He grew and he was exceedingly great. Even in the land of the enemy. Hallelujah. When he was first starting his journey, he went to a place of famine. And he ended up taking his wife into Egypt. He even lied and said that his wife was his sister. But I tell you what, even after all that, they put him out of Egypt, told him to take everything that they had given him. Hallelujah. So you won't be empty. When you leave a battle of the enemy's camp, you leave him with some goods. Hallelujah. He had oxen and cattle. He had money. He had servants and handmaids. You're not going to leave empty this time. Hallelujah. I don't care what the enemy is telling you. I don't care if your bank account say negative 25. This time, when you leave, hallelujah, he said he's going to cause your enemies to be your footstools. You know, don't, don't get mad at the enemy because God will cause your enemy to bless you too. As they take it and go. That's what they told him. Hallelujah. And he took it and he went. Not only that, but everybody that was with him got blessed. His nephew Lot was with him and they got blessed too. So much so that when they got to a certain point, God had to separate them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people are for a season. Some people are for a lifetime. But just know that the favor of God is on your life. And when he is working in your life, hallelujah, when he is working in your life, everything around you will be blessed, including you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we ought to just walk in humility before him. We ought to let him use us. Don't get salty when he correct you. The Bible says whom he loved, he corrected. And he didn't care nothing about you. He'll let you be out there doing whatever. But because he loves you, he will bring correction. Hallelujah. Because he don't want you to be in error. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says that the righteous shall scarcely make it in. Hallelujah. That means even after you live the life that's pleasing to God, you still have a finite chance of making it in. The righteous shall scarcely make it in. So where shall the sinners and the ungodly appear? And we don't want you to be part of that group. Hallelujah. We don't want you to be part of the sinners and the ungodly. So we left the altar open. And even if you don't want to get up and get out of your seat. Hallelujah. You scared that somebody is looking at you or whatever. You close your eyes and bow your head and begin to speak to your father. But he hears you right from the chair where you are. He hears you right from your car. He hears you right from your office. He hears you right from your home. And change can come to you right in that very place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because he made us a healing and deliverance ministry. He calls us to be, hallelujah, part of the apostolic group. Hallelujah. So we thank you. And we invite you all and we remind you that next Sunday is Youth Sunday. We want everybody to come and to bring a guest to see what God is going to do in the youth. We're getting ready to close up our services. If you are still with the Lord, stay with him. Hallelujah. Don't move from that place until God release you. Hear what God is saying to you in this hour. We crown your week with goodness. Whatever the enemy thought he had put over in your Tuesday, we 
remove it now. We decree and declare that it is so. And it shall not be any otherwise. We release it on earth that it may be released in heaven. And when you walk out of this place today, I want you to walk out of here knowing that you are changed. Your address is changed. And you shall be better today and tomorrow than you were yesterday. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus.